Well, today uh, is finally the day. I'm gonna be building um, the PF Sense router. So let me go ahead and show you all of the parts that I got. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start putting this all together. Alrighty, well, let's go ahead and start building this. So introducing the parts. So the first thing, of course, we have the Corsair Vengeance. Uh, this is uh, two 8 gig sticks, totaling uh, 16 gigs of RAM, running, of course, at 3200 megahertz. For the processor, we have this i3 10100F. So this is the LGA. Uh, 1200 socket. All right, so technically the, the CPU does not have integrated graphics, so we're gonna go ahead and um, install also this Zotac graphics card. All right, so here of course we have our NIC card. So previously the ones that I ordered weren't compatible, so now uh, this should technically work. Hard drive, nothing really special. We're just running an NVMe 125 gig drive. So motherboard. So this is a Gigabyte B560M DS3HAC. I have, of course, my case. So this is going to be where everything's going to be housed. Alrighty, well, let's go ahead and get this show on the road. I completely forgot to also include this. So um, powering the system is going to be this power supply. So this is a, a EVGA 450 watt power supply. Yeah, uh, that's squared away. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right ahead and install PF Sense on it. So let's go right ahead and do that right now. Okay, so there we go. So here is the router installed. Um, basically, I went I went right ahead and actually installed into the web GUI and made some changes. Um, just change the password, and make sure that everything's communicating. But uh, yeah, so this is good to go. I am still deciding exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Um, I know I want to get, uh, what is it, the IPsec uh, set up and as well as OpenVPN. So I might I might continue on, on that stretch. So yeah, let's see what happens. But uh, this was <laughs> technically the router that I was using since um, the previous one that I was trying to build um, was incompatible. So I was getting a bunch of drop packets and stuff like that. So now that I have uh, the one that should work running, we should be good to go. Alrighty, everybody, well, that is the end of this video. Um, I did encounter some hiccups that I, um, you know, of course, uh, for some awkward reason, the system wouldn't really pick up the NVMe drive. I uh, had to change it from the top slot to the bottom slot, and then it finally picked it up. Uh, but overall, there it is. So it is running uh, right now it's running default so nothing special has been made or has been modified so that's gonna that's not gonna be too long until i start changing things but uh for right now uh that is the end of this video like always i really do hope you enjoyed the video and the content so we will catch you on the next one